Amma. Yes. Come on for them. Make I teach you my hey. yeah, slang. Make you take do waiting. Come the yard, make I initiate you before you can then come spread me plus kebabs and so below make I teach you, eh? Come on, come on, don't go there. Oh. Don't be the go. Come, 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 come. Amma. Ah. Wonderful people, welcome to another episode of Honestly Speaking, the only show where you ask us to bring your favorite celebrities to answer questions that have been bugging you and we get them to speak honestly. Today's guest is a legendary actor, popularly known as Pusha in old time TV series Things We Do For Love. He is currently an invaluable asset in the Ghanaian movie industry and beyond. Where are foolish body? Hey, baby! Hey, my buddy! Hey, my buddy! My buddy! Come on! Hey! Pussa! Oh, Pussa! So what they go on? Charlie, cool. Hey, Charlie, that reminds me. How much do I owe you? What? Are you where you go yesterday? Yesterday, where things go be for you, Charlie? So small running, me and Coco Asta. Charlie. But you need to meet the Dems on the way. For the way? Oh. For the front there, no. Oh. Where she pass? Hey, buddy! It's the night me that I go bed. Hey! Oh. I want you a great one. Yes, serious. I want you a great Give me a pillar. Don't be smoking. Serious. I want you a great one. Coolest car. No wonder your mommy say you won't see you for the hospital there. Huh? You say, eh? Your mommy say you won't see you for the hospital there. <laughs> you did that and talk to you. Eh? <laughs> Somebody! 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 This one, baby, go talk say, come see, come sir. You mean it be half or two? <laughs> baby, I'm not a foolish boy, but that. I'm not a stupid boy. But come here, where you buy the sugar? But you think, you think sure you be good? You not be different, no? Ask for you, you not go change. God shall come from heaven, land for ground. You not go change. Go be the same. You not go stop for you guys. I know. I'm going to serve this sugar cane, no buy them. Come for this. Push up. You know me, Julia, that? What? Touch me before she come to my house. See? See how you the chauffeur? See how you the chauffeur? As for this pussy boy, every girl will go be pregnant for this area. Then not shall be in father. It will be the first suspect. Somebody! Okay. Well, this one will be your matter. Aluta, Aluta! Come away! That thing can come here. Away, make me move! Charlie, so, so what's up with you and um, Julia? Hmm? Uh, what you want her today, tomorrow, you don't want her and all that. I mean, I don't understand. You're always Papa. swerving her. Babadi, Julia no go mind say she go fight me for public war. Please, I cannot be part of that. Babadi, you no go take one minute, self. Ah, what your brother talking? They make her feel bad, self. Huh? Mommy, everything be okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hello. How are you? I said, leave me alone. Ah! If you hadn't misbehaved towards me, would all this confusion come about? I don't say I'm not false. Yeah? But you just come represent me without the matter. Daddy, please throw him out. He's such a nuisance. The devil incarnate. Of here, beg, make no boy. This one, we just shut up, you blurry fool. Oh, of course, she body, you are overreacting. Overreacting, indeed. Anytime I see this hopeless boy, he's either fooling with girls in the street or fooling with friends under the influence of alcohol. 
as a responsible father? Is this the sort of person to set eyes on in my own house? In my own house! Stop teaching this girl before she lands me into trouble. So what trouble? A smart boy like you. Nah, you have no idea. She's she's just a pain in the neck. Sari, I know, I know. Huh? But just take them cold with her. Huh? Then take the money. The money be very, very important though. My son, they tell you, very, very important. Ah, my time I don't get a chance like this. Like, you know, be the money, huh? Like, your mommy go allow me to go teach him. Huh? Okay, if you say so. But then, what about the car? Yo, sir. What's up? Welcome back. Kelly, put the things in the kitchen for me, okay? Welcome back, Mom. I, I thought you were coming back in the evening. Yes, I was. Um, but your uncle came for a funeral in the village and gave me a lift back to Accra. Cyril, where's my car? I didn't see it outside. No, it did work, sure. Your reverse lights know the job, so seriously, make a work on them, give them. <laughs> the Lutus Jr. You know the man? Um, he looks familiar, but I am not sure. He be con artist, first class scammer. Look, the, he did take advantage of young beautiful single women. Hey, my buddy, you will talk to your puppy, make you talk to his sis. So say she no go make a like mistake again. Yes sir, yes sir. No, you want to me? Yes please. Uh -huh. uh, shika, who no more shika? But this all. But why she keeps so? Eh? The two all they make cold. What? Oh, feel na ba yi ani ni. Hey. Please, viewers, with a huge smile behind your screens, help me welcome Ajete Anan onto our set. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, what about you? It be a shame. Oh, it be a shame. Oh, stop it. Like stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah. Please, let me oh. speak. Let me speak, to Mr. Ajete Anna. Let's put Pusha to yes, the sir, side. Yes, Let, yeah, yeah. After, after me, then you go vibe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll go. Uh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank this you. This is this is such an honor for me. I don't even know about any other person, yeah. but I'm grateful the pleasure is to mine. have you here. Um, How's today? How's today? What's today saying? Um, today is saying I'm too hot. I'm too hot. I need I need I need a um, yeah, a pool. Vacation and yeah. like you know in the what's what's that place called Bali, Bali. Indonesia those places. Yeah, we're just talking about Greece, so probably okay. you know, yeah, okay. want to do that. Okay, <laughs> all right, guys, watch out for his Instagram. He's gonna be in Greece soon. Um, <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Mr. How's your family? Like, I'm. This is my first time, you know, talking to you. Mm -hmm. I really do want to get to know what's happening in your life right now. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're good. They're good. Uh, we're, we're we're planning for summer. Um, okay. You know, because it's been all work from the beginning of the year. We had any. We've not had any breaks, right. and so we're looking at you know schedule yeah. timing so that we have some good summer yeah. and, and take time off. Are yeah. you working on any movies? Oh yeah, yeah. Now? I yeah. actually. Am I done? I, I just shot um, okay, see my last scene I yeah. suspect yesterday night. Okay. So I hope that they'll not call me for yeah. another scene addendum. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay. Um, yeah. I know I don't know, but can you please tell me how did you get into acting? Like what mm. yeah. What was the one thing that propelled you into this this career? Yeah, I mean so from a very, very tender age and I've always been, I was introduced to movies yeah. by my, I think my uncles. They they always had these movies that they used to watch, and so I I I, I just went along, and yeah. I was just fascinated about how people would just take characters that they are not in real life and yeah. then played so well. And that there was something that excited me about yeah. it. So I developed that habit, and even though I didn't know that I was liking what I was doing until I had opportunity in school where we did some drama piece. I think it was one of those things that you do around Easter or Christmas. 
and then I had a role and I performed and all I did was just to imitate what I did see on, on the movies, you know. And everybody was looking at me like, okay, well, have I done something? I'm like, I, I, I didn't see it was a big deal yeah. because I was just imitating what I did yeah. see. And they thought that I had something in there. I should really look at it. And that was, you know, fast forward, um, I had an opportunity to visit um, um, a, a theater uh, drama rehearsal at GBC then. And I saw the Sefaka is the Freda Mugiza. I'm like, oh my goodness, these are people that, you know, there was, there was no social media. Yeah. So you need to really step out and meet these people before you see them. Yeah. And so for me, it was like, oh, wow, I've seen them flesh and blood close true. in proximity. <laughs> and I wanted to be in that company so much. So I followed them to the next rehearsal upon rehearsal. I got a role and that was it. And they kept on commending me and, yeah. and encouraging me and that was how it So how happened. did Pusha, you know, come to be? How did you get that? Well, Pusha was all life on Pusha, you know. Yeah. Um, I remember those days when um, they were putting the, the team together. It was then for radio and then I had a role and then yeah, I think I, I didn't play Pusha initially and then I think I even switched my character to play Pusha. And things to do for love. I, th I thought that there was something wrong with him then because <laughs> I was like, I wish I was such a bad boy. Yeah. And you know, I've, I've been warned not to play any other thing than I should play a saint, an angel, that kind of thing. Um, because of, um, you know, because people really tag you with the things that you play. And, and, and our, our audience or society was now getting warmed to bad characters, etc. So I, I thought it was a bit uncomfortable, but I mean, he believed and saw something in me and, and I, I took up the challenge and that yeah. was it, yeah. Yeah. And I would say that, you know, Pusha is one of your most famous characters, uh -huh. if not the famous yeah, characters. Say that. Are there any, or is there any character that you've played that, you know, you think has also made a huge impact, you know, in the industry I or think, in I, the country? Well, I think pretty much before uh, um, Pusha, the, you know, there was this Thursday theater thing that used to we have um, on TV yeah and I think there was a role that I played in three parts um, and so I had the name Ecomosis so Ecomosis became my name until Pusha broke that yeah right. and, you know um, beyond that you know I've, I've played several characters and uh, people decide to call me whichever character but I think that Pusha has been very consistent right you know? right yeah. um you released a book sometime last year yeah. um Please tell us, tell us how that that, that is going. Well, that has been actually. Yeah, it, it, it was it was a bold step, bold move because I thought that uh, beyond the characters that I played, um, my my fan base didn't really know me. Um, all they saw was look, me play car one character to the next, and and the adjective they saw was in interviews and, and events. But I thought that let them come a bit more closer, and so let me share beyond the the, the characters that I play who Ajete is and what journey he's been through and for people to relate to me more and to have a human a humane touch yeah. um, human touch if you will and so that was what inspired my, my, my going to the books and also because I'd also want to reach out to a certain target audience who were stepping into the light or who are in the light and the challenges that are you know that are very yeah. you know, really really what we experience in our in our industry yeah. and so yeah pretty much so, so it's been doing, it's, it's well. doing well yeah. it's doing well people <laughs> are really um you know receiving it well and, and a lot of questions have come up yeah you know, is are you working on another one is there should we be expected it, it's, it's, it's 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 in here um we were, we're yet to practicalize it put you know it on paper but it definitely is going to be a sequel um, yeah some sometime oh i'm excited here. guys so you know okay please i yeah. just want us to get straight to the questions that you're right. i don't want to waste anyone's right. time yeah, you know yeah. i feel like they're all like they'll be up like hey, hurry yeah, up hurry up <laughs> so guys we're gonna go on a break and when we get back i Anand speaks honestly Welcome back. This is Honestly Speaking and Ajete Anan, a.k.a. Pusha, is here to answer all your grilling, firing, sizzling questions. You ready? Ready to go. Okay. Let's go. You, you need to promise. You need to put your hand up like this and be like, I promise I to promise. answer all your firing questions. Both hands. Both hands. <laughs> I promise to honestly All right. All right. Answer we got question. you. Moving on. Let's, let's move straight to all the right. first one. Um, Salim from Accra, Newtown, wants to know if you've acted any international movies. Yes, I have a couple of um, somewhere in 2019. I acted one 
with um, what's her name? This African American actress, I've forgotten her name already. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, she, 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 she's well known. Um, nah, I'll, I'll try and remember. Okay. Yeah, but I have um, another um, also in LA. Um, but it was mostly for that community. Um, but they they have plans of you know premiering it here so that at least our fan base here will also right. see it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Hope your question is answered. <laughs> um, Salim again wants to know. Um, but between on screen acting and on stage acting, which one is you know, more difficult? <laughs> well, well, if you ask me, I'd say stage is more demanding um, because of the working, the, the number of hours that you spend. You can go for rehearsal for three months, you know, wow. that's the equivalent to shooting a whole movie, if you will. Um, and then also, because you're, living with, you're dealing with a live audience, you're very, it's very spontaneous and, and therefore anything can it's so unpredictable yeah. audience can come in and interact and you, you have to be on your feet you're giving your best um at all times 100 percent, because yeah. there's no cuts it's and take backs you can mistakes. you know it exactly <laughs> um film film it's, it's much easier in terms of you know director having options to choose what's the best and you can make mistakes theater right. doesn't allow you to yeah. make mistakes and and so i'd say that theater pretty much is is more demanding yeah. um in that sense but however if you're looking at um, embodying a character, you have to really research and 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 really playing a uh, a life that has been lived. Like playing a president of uh, yeah. Nkrumah, for example, there's a lot of research that you need to do, and so that also demands a lot of work from your part. Yeah. All right. Next question. Emma from Kasua says she wants you to teach her your slang in Yolo, and um, can you give her a freestyle? Emma. Yes. Come on for there. Make her teach you my uh, slang. Make you take do with it. Come the yard, make I initiate you before you can tell. Come spread me plus kebabs and so below, make I teach you. Eh? Come on, come on, don't go there. Oh. Don't be the go. Come, 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 come. Guys, Amma. I believe him. Like, when right. he said the commas for there, <laughs> and I was like, wait, what is happening? <laughs> like, you're so good, guys. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, next one, next one, next one. Uh, Dennis from Awashi wants to know who is your favorite young star in YOLO. Oh, but that's the tricky one. Um, get you in trouble. No? <laughs> ah, favorite young star in YOLO. That's that's tough. Probably it would be a fine line between um, Chem 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 Chambers Chems Willie Willie um, Willie Willie um, William what, Willie what's his and name? then um, Flex Flex Yeah Flex then, that's his character Yeah and then and then um. No, um, the the love. Yeah, that's ODK. That's ODK. Yeah, yes, okay, that's okay, that's ODK. ODK. Yeah, yeah. He, like, I, I think those two yeah. for me, yeah. probably, yeah, yeah uh, they, they crack me up most of the time. So yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, next question. Mavis is asking, how was life before things we do for love, and who has been your role model when you started, you know, acting? Um, life before when I started acting was that? No, life before things we do for love. Oh, life before yeah. things we do for love. I pretty much. Um, behind the scenes mostly because you know pusha pusha just catapulted me into a, a different phase and and so like before was doing a few movies and doing most theater mostly theater stage yeah. um pretty much that's where i learned most of my basics you know yeah. and and so yeah that was that was and my she's theater. asking who your role model has been since you're the genesis of your acting it, career it hasn't been limited to one person yes. you know because of different different stages of my life and who I, I i drew more strength in you know given so they've included david donto on, on on stage because of his personality and stage presence they've definitely screened included denzel washington oh, because wow. of his versatility yeah, yeah. it is it is really included um angelina jolie also because of versatility yeah. and for me it doesn't matter what sex it is as far as i can pick something that I can borrow and 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 make it my own and then add my touch to it. So it's been different. Lots right. of people giving me inspirations right. at different times. Yeah. Right. Fair points. Yeah. Mm. Um, Mavis again wants to know <laughs> what values or principles have guided you in your professional and personal life. You know, so far. Yeah, I, I think that uh, one of one of which has been for me the learning process, the learning learning from all. I I never limit myself to only learning from a guru, so to speak. But, you know, the, the people who walk onto, onto the set sometimes, it may be their first experience, but they have a certain gift that you don't have. And even though they are green, 
their, their giftings is something that if, if you can learn and yeah. add, you know, you make, that's what keeps you relevant and consistent. And so that, that would be one. Um, but I'd maybe also not to um, shun my critics. There's a temptation to sort of, especially in a space of social media where everybody can say anything. Um, you must be careful that there, there, some people may have a point but how they even address yeah. it might put you off but try as much as possible to sift that out yeah. and and then do do some introspection and find out whether uh, you can grow even with the advice that they've given so i don't shun my critics i don't right. you know sort of put them off so if you, you if you constructive criticism, constructive criticism yeah. yeah even those that comes really across as a bit messy yeah. and disrespectful i still you know i'm able to sift that out and then take the the, the yeah. content out yeah. yeah i think that's a talent because mm. most could never <laughs> <laughs> most <laughs> could never uh next uh kelvin from la paz is asking how you managed to do the <laughs> he's asking how you managed to do that walking thing in yolo he tried and he couldn't <laughs> yeah so we're a period uh, what i call rehearse consolidation and then execution so you know i i i use the mirror to to really do the, the, those Where movements best friend? best friend because it gives you back what you give it it, it won't lie to you and yeah. so if if you if you smile and it looks like you're going to cry then you have to work on it and the mirror will tell you exactly what to do right. and i did certain um gestures and movements i didn't like what i saw and so i i i, I polished it and improved upon it until i was like okay it, it clicked and and also there was uh, a part of what I also borrowed from some mates of mine, which also exaggerated, yeah. so that it, it became more relatable. And, and I, I had some of my mates asking, like, "What's that basic rules <laughs> movement that you know, I was like, yeah, I borrowed something." Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I rehearsed over a period of time, and it became it became Larry. Okay. Right. Um, Solomon wants to know if it's only acting, directing, and media stuff you want to do, or you know, you do other stuff. Um, pretty related. Um, I, I'm more interested in community development programs and so um, we do have a company that is, is, is open to going into community spaces yeah. to change people's perceptions about a lot of issues just to see us grow from where we are and so I have a company that does that. Um, so more, more what people will call theatre for development uh, spaces or drama for development using drama to, to sort of help change people's perceptions about issues and, right. and improve. Yeah, so, so that's what I also spend my uh, time yeah, doing apart from, apart from lecturing and, and drama, yeah. Yeah. I have seen you enough to be for I just Yeah, I lecture there as well. So. Yeah, I was helping my friend in his end um, final project. Really? You, just, and you, you saw me? You didn't call me. Oh, I'm yeah. shy. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was very shy. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Portia is asking what role you have always wanted to play but haven't had the chance to play. Oh, I played it, a saint. Oh. <laughs> you know, to, to counter uh, Portia then because there's a perception out there that I'm, I, I was playing consistently bad roles and then it, it meant that I was, I was a bad character. Yeah. I was a bad person and, and that's why I'm able to so easily p play that. And I wanted to show the world that that's not only the roles yeah. that I can play and so I was so bent on playing a saint you know and I got opportunity to yeah. play it um yeah and so. did you kill it was it something that oh you yeah did I did yeah? I prepared well yeah. for it yeah okay. <laughs> I would like to see yeah you should yeah. okay uh Portia again wants to know if the film industry has changed since the beginning of your career and you know do you think it will be better oh yeah it has it has changed a lot and um, especially even even when you take social media um you know it, it has a lot where we're so dependent on our fan base and i think that change for 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 positive and negative as well you know for, for example negative in the sense that because of our fan base and because we want to keep our fan base we're careful to keep the same images that we we put across in our movies and, and so when i'm playing a character for example where i'm supposed to maybe break down and let's go and and and, and contort my my facial expressions i'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm very, very present with the images that I've posted on, on, on Instagram. You remember when you take a lot of pictures, you, you sift and then take the best and then you post. So you right. want to maintain that same image. Yeah. And now when you, you try to let that be the same for you expressing yourself a character, 
and that comes in a way that means you're being self-conscious and so you're not able to naturally and and fully deliver because you don't want somebody saying that oh uh, oh as for jackie when she cries her face is no good yeah. cry. you know that kind of thing yeah. so you're trying to keep up appearances and and that goes in not you know really living the character well right. positive in terms of the fact that it's expanded what we were, we're doing a lot more people can can be open to it and relate to it and give you feedback um, even when you're in, you're in your space you you know um and so i think that it has changed it can be better but it's it's it all depends on us um, what do we how do we, how we want it to be in some time to come is depends on the work that we put in today without repeating the cycles of of the choices some of the bad choices that we have made in the yeah. past and how can we be better and so it's in our hands um yeah oh my god you touched <laughs> um Belinda wants to know as a seasoned what oh I'm confused. Careful. Belinda wants to know as a seasoned actor, what advice would you give to aspiring aspiring actors who look up to you? Well, stay in the process. I mean, what I mean by that is I mean we're, we're quick to jump the gun, we're quick to want to be uh maybe a Nadia Buari overnight. Yeah. Um because oh, of I the social that, media presentation. <laughs> and you know forgetting that you need to be in the process for you to be baked i mean the fact that there's microwave doesn't mean that we're, we're cooking yam is now one minute yeah. or two minutes yeah. you know we still cook yam the same way we've right. our great forefathers have cooked it if it's eight minutes it's eight minutes and it, there's a reason why that is otherwise then you're going to have tummy aches yeah. and so the, traditionally you're supposed to be in the process Look, when i went to the national theater for example um i went there to work as an actor but then they put me into set construction. Then they put me into next week, they put me into costume. Then later they put me into another department. What they were doing was me to have an idea of what happens in the various departments so that when finally I get in the actor, I appreciate what goes into yeah. each other. Because sometimes we have uh, a very, very limited cast to make trips to go perform, maybe in Europe. And we have to double as costume and, you know, just so it makes it cost effective. Now, if you're not introduced to these areas, this is the process yeah. that I mean. If people will think that, oh, I don't have time for that. I came to act. I don't. Why are you asking me to learn? You know, so we have to be in the process and learn. Yeah. And, and that's what makes us baked. When opportunity comes, we don't, um, we don't you know, we yeah. give it our best. To that. Yeah. Right. Our next question. Belinda again is asking if you could watch only three movies for the rest of your life. Which one would you choose and why? Which ones would you choose? Wow, that's... Only three movies. Three movies. Yes. So maybe I'll do history, present, future probably. So probably one of the movies that comes to mind is Shawshank Redemption. It's a, it's a, it's a Hollywood movie that, that um, well, thrives on hope. Because yeah, it has Morgan Freeman in there. And, and, and so it thrives on hope when, when all seems lost, like like... Times, times are tough like like the situation currently in our country but um, you know you need something that gives you hope that that tells you that look it's just a phase we can we, we can de we can depend on ourselves and still push and, yeah. and can make it then i'll look at um something that is more relatable to us so maybe gold coast lounge probably um it's a Ghanaian piece that that seen it. Uh, yeah by pascal aka as a does it no it has a uh, raquel oh raquel. that's raquel yeah, that's yeah, raquel. Sorry, I yeah. <laughs> and so that that's so it's very metaphoric that speaks to our, our, our current um you know uh, because then it speaks to we we be you know producing what we eat and and looking inward and looking outward um you know as much as possible so and then probably a third that'll be a tough one uh third would be a tough one but um third would be a tough one i i i, I have so many to choose from yeah. You know, but at but, least he gave us two guys. Yeah. Guys, yeah. are we are we are we okay with the two? If we're not okay with the two, can we say something in the comment section so that we can go and find Mr. Joe to another game to come yeah, and answer the final? <laughs> you and list the final one. Yeah? Do we have an accord, guys? Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh next one. Um Kelvin, this is the last but one. Kelvin um Worldwide, that's his name. Kelvin Worldwide is asking if you can share a funny or memorable BTS moment from one of your films. Funny yeah, BTS moment. Scenes, moment. Yeah, yeah, scenes. That if you can't forget, you know, this is... Um, hmm. Probably um, the one where they... Do, it was this young boy, I think it was Things To Do For Love. I think, I think, uh, <laughs> BB's, BB's um, brother. Okay. They went backstage where we're backstage that there was no there was no action and and then i think that 
when he was he was just there close to something that I wanted him to pick for me. But in I was more like rehearsing, you know. So when I spoke, I was like, my buddy, pick the thing, give me. So then he, he, he panicked. Scared, you know, he know. got scared, scared and then he, he picked the thing. When he came, I was like, Charlie, I, I just enjoy, I just rehearse my life. Then she, he, he almost broke down, you know, because oh, no. he thought that, you know, um, this is me, this is Pusha, whether I'm in front of the camera or yeah. not. And it, it, was, it was kind of funny because yeah. I, I found it very funny, but yeah. he, he didn't. Um, but of course, uh, he created some bond between us. And, yeah. yeah. So I, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I would have been traumatized, like, ah, <laughs> please. It was a really genuine reaction yeah. from him. You know? Right. Final one, and then we move to the last segment, right? Bill wants to know what um, what movie quote or line of dialogue from one of your films that you find yourself quoting in your everyday life. Yeah, uh, probably. Come on for there. Yeah, guys. And we have to, uh, to the taxi drivers yeah. and the truck drivers a lot. Right. I think everybody says that to the taxi drivers and the truck drivers. But yeah, uh, this is how we come to the end of this segment of Honestly Speaking. When we come back from the break. Mr. Ajite Anand is in the hot seat. He's rapidly firing your questions. You ready? This is Honestly Speaking, Ajiti Anand is here with me and we're moving on to Rapid Fire. Mm. Are you ready? I'm ready to go. Okay, 10 solid yeah. questions, this or that, quack, 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 okay, quack, quack, yeah, yeah. and there we go. Okay, um, would you rather cinema or theatre? Theatre. <laughs> <laughs> okay, would you rather never use social media apps again or never watch movies again? Hey. <laughs> uh, never social media. Social media, yeah. yeah. You love I've, movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is your life. Yeah. So fair enough. <laughs> um, flex or ODK? This just a two. Oh no, my goodness! How you can't do I that? Don't know. <laughs> they sent the question. That's crazy. Uh, I'll just say something. Flex. Flex. Okay. <laughs> that came too <laughs> Okay, would you rather give up on acting or a 15 second emotional monologue? Or give a 15 second emotional monologue? Would you rather give up on acting or a 15 second? No, 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 15 second. Yeah, yeah 15 yeah. second emotional. Okay. Would you rather football money or movie money? Share. Sure. Football money. Yeah, yeah. Now, dear, football money. You have to be honest, yeah. <laughs> no lie. No, no lie. No lie. Football right. money. Right. Yeah. I don't think any, I think everybody would choose, yeah. Where the money resides. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, would you rather have the ability to change the past or see into the future? Charlie, the past is done, man. Yeah, yeah, look, see in the future because even if I change the past, I still don't have the clue yeah. about what the future holds. Yeah. yeah, into the future. Right, right. Fair enough. Would you rather hear a comforting lie or an uncomfortable truth? Uncomfortable truth, Charlie. Uncomfortable. Are you yeah. sure? A lot of people say yeah. that, but they can't handle it. 
Yeah, but I mean, it's it's it's, it's, it's the better. best because whatever you do, the truth will come out yeah. anyway. So yeah. if, if it's day. comfortable, like the truth is gonna go. Yeah. It can't shock you. Uh, last but one, would you rather read minds or predict the future? I think it's similar to. Okay, yeah. Yeah. would you rather read minds or predict the future? Now yeah. this is a bit different. Yeah, <laughs> read minds. <Yeah. laughs> you want to know what's yeah. up, yeah? Because reading minds can lead me to the future. You right, know, so you can know well, yeah. what the person is going to do or say. Right. And the final one, uh, hey, things we do for love or YOLO. Oh, Charlie, yeah. Happy, my people, happy people. I need to go way back to, yeah. my, to my hood, man. Oh, things man, Jackie was here and then she, <laughs> she, yeah, she did say things we do for yeah, love, so... Yeah. Right, fair enough, I respect that. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate your time, I appreciate everything. Um, you know, before I let you go, is there anything that you know you want to tell the people out there, fans, that there is anything that you're working on mm. that you want people to know of? Or about yeah I mean look um, let's let, let's keep the love I mean it's, it's tough in our world today but hey we, we we have we have all we have is each other and I think that we must be more tolerant especially it's an election year coming up and there's gonna be all oh, tensions and but especially young guys look we know what we want we know what, don't let don't be deceived by anybody right. um, you know make sure that you whatever you do out there you've thought you thought through it um, don't just be led on by what somebody is saying. Do you believe in what postings? Ah, I wasn't say that. People just post things and what, repost. Is yeah, how you repost. Say it? Yeah. Without even considering what, what whether it sits well with your brand and yeah. image. And I think that we have to be very, very deliberate about things that we post out there yeah. so that it doesn't impact um, our society negatively. Yeah. So yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It? Right. Well spoken. Uh, guys, this is how we come to the end of today's episode of Honestly Speaking. Thank you goes to Ajete Anan, you know, for coming today, spending time with us. A special thank you goes to La Palm Royal Beach Hotel and Afro Lounge for providing us with the space and drinks to conduct our interviews. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the link and comment who you want to see next. And if you feel like at any point, Mr. Ajete Anan was not being honest, say something, comment and, you know, we'll go find him wherever he is bring him here you know to answer all the questions that are bothering you and yeah until next time bye